making videos. They, I just get interrupted all the time or totally mess up things. Anyways, here we're going to talk about editing the Psych 3400 website. Um, let's take a look at the website. It's got a home page. It's got a page where we can have information about lectures. I've got it set up so that for each day you can link to a chapter in the book. Slides, which um, are part of the website, so you can edit all this stuff too. And um, lab manual stuff. Uh, links to the textbook, links to the lab manual, a syllabus, and a resources page. So all of this is written in R Markdown. The GitHub repository is right here. You can download these files and then load them up in RStudio and change everything and recompile and host it on your own GitHub repository. And I'll refer you to the previous video where I show how to work through that pipeline for the statistics lab manual. Here I want to focus on the, the files in, in this repository and kind of dig into how to edit them and how to modify this thing. So I've already got a copy of this on my local computer, it's like 3400. You can see that here. I'm going to open up the R project file. Um, oh, it looks like I had it open already. I'm just going to close that. So I've only got one open. Here it is. There we go. All right. So first of all, if you press build, then you will compile a website. And there it is. So I'm looking at the local copy now. We can test it out, see what it looks like. Looks, looks good, I guess. OK, let's talk about the details here. And I, I would uh, highly recommend going to RStudio and looking up uh, basic R Markdown websites. I'll put some links in the description of this video to uh, two great resources on that. And But let's take a look at what we got going on here. So first of all, uh, the underscore site.yml file, uh, we use this to control the name, the title, and the names of the tabs and what content is displayed in the tabs. So if I wanted the tabs lec for lectures to say lecture schedule, I could uh, write that here, and that would be updated over here. It's a lecture schedule instead of just lectures. I'll change it back. Um, every, so this is the name of the tab. You would change that, and you can link it to the HTML file, which will be the content under the tab. Um, all of the HTML files are in the docs folder. And uh, the files in the main folder are used as the source to compile through uh, R Markdown and Knitter and all those things to create the HTML files. So the front page, index.html, um, is created through the index.rmd file. We can take a look at that here. Um, so I'm just going to step through this file pretty quickly. It's got a title. And changing this changes this word right here. If you're not familiar with R Markdown, you can kind of uh, put lots of different kinds of code into this one document. So in this case, you could put um, HTML, uh, Markdown, and, and R code. This top part, I've embedded uh, some HTML uh, using the, a style kind of object here. And I'm just declaring some CSS, and in particular, 
this hides the title. Um, if I don't do this, Psych 3400 will get printed twice here, and I don't want that to happen. Um, actually, here's something funny. I'm not sure why I'm doing this. Uh, that this is a header, a level one header or H1 header, gets printed right here, Psych 3400. These two stars are bold. Um, I don't know why I'm bolding it. Let's see if I un take those stars off. Oh, yeah, we can. So I actually like this better. I'm going to unbold it. Um, the next part, as you can see, if I expand this a little bit, we've actually got a multi column situation going on here. Um, and I'm using some divs to set that up. So if we go down and look at all of this, um, we're creating uh, an overarching row class. And within that, this thing is the left column. And this thing is the right column. And um, what else do we have? Uh, the number of hashtags sets your header level, so that'll be a level three header, that's a level four header. Um, this is actually a little R code snippet that's going to print out the date. And then we've got some R markdown and some links and some verbiage and stuff like that. In terms of printing these pictures, uh, what I've done is used a knitter code chunk and the include graphics command to print those images. All right, so that's the index page. I mean, any, anything you change here uh, will get updated to change on the landing page. The index page, the textbook page, and the lectures, or sorry, the lab manual page are all fairly similar. So if we look at the textbook RMD file, um, and we kind of looked over here to see what that's looking like. Again, we've kind of got a two column situation with some text and a picture. And uh, again, it's, this is the left column, this is the picture. So anything you go and change will get changed over there. So if, if you were to copy all of our materials, including the textbook and the lab manual and this website, and host them all on your own GitHub accounts, uh, you'd want to go and change up these links so that they're linking to your stuff and not my stuff. Okay. What else can we look at here? Let's look at the lectures.rmd. So I haven't looked at this in a while. What's going on here? Um, to me, this is a really nice example of uh, why it's awesome to use R Markdown for things. Uh, so this is the R Markdown that generates the page right here with all this stuff on it. And what I'm doing is uh, just a little bit of text. So this should be the top part that we see. Yep, there it is. And then there's this table. Um, so what I've done actually is created an Excel spreadsheet with all that information in it, including the web links. And I just read it in and then print it using the cable function. Um, so that Excel spreadsheet's right here. So if I wanna change the content of this um, table, then what I would do is, uh, Let's, oh, I didn't mean to press view file, I don't think. Oh, it's gonna open up in Excel. Yeah, here it is, great. So I just go and edit this Excel file, save those changes, and um, then they get updated on the website. So I think that's a pretty fast, convenient way for, for, for handling all that information. Um, so what else? We got a syllabus. Oh, so this syllabus is uh, all written in R Markdown. You can see here 
there's a few more bells and whistles. I've got this sidebar um, that you can scroll through, and there's all sorts of different kinds of content in here. Uh, I guess I'll just say, like, well, here it is. It's syllabus.rmd, and this maybe is just another example of writing a bunch of things in R Markdown and setting some of these parameters up here under output. So TOC true, that's going to make the table of contents be a thing. TOC float means it floats on the left side. Um, and the, num the depth is four, so that means um, if you have like subheadings, it'll go to a depth of four subheadings in terms of printing it out in here. And yeah, otherwise you could see how I've done this. I've um, imported some a CSV file with instructor information and I'm printing that out as a table. I've imported the, the lecture schedule and then I basically just got a bunch of um, words and things that I write down here and all of this is just printed to that website. So you could maybe use this as an example about uh, you can easily just modify these things for your own syllabus. Um, yeah, the resources page is just, uh, you know, page of a few resources that I thought were useful for students at the time. And again, it is just right here as an RMD file, and there it is. So each of these RMD files, when they're compiled um, through either pressing build website or by just knitting them, they create a corresponding HTML file in the docs folder, right? And um, when you push your changes back up to GitHub and you enable GitHub pages for the docs folder, uh, this will get displayed as a website. Okay. What else do I want to go over? Um, let's jump into the presentations a 